Hi guys! I am so excited to be back in Vancouver and to be filming today. I missed you guys so much over the holiday season, but I do hope you guys enjoyed your holidays spent with your family, your friends, and your loved ones. And I just want to say thank you so much for being patient for my first video back from the holidays. Now today I am super excited to be filming because a lot of you guys have requested a New Year's Eve makeup tutorial and outfit idea. So I'm going to be giving you just that today. I'll be doing a dramatic eye with a dark red lip and this is the makeup and I'll also be showing you guys an outfit after so if you guys want to see the finished look, keep watching. Alright, let's get started. First step, moisturize. Then let's get to foundation. Of course, you guys know my favorite foundation is the fabulous Giorgio Armani's Luminous Silk Foundation. It adds such a nice finish and makes your skin look so flawless. You might also notice the color I'm using here is a bit darker on my skin and that's because my face is a bit paler, so this really helps warm my skin tone. I also love using my beauty blender to help apply the foundation all over my face. And always remember to go down the sides of the neck to make sure your face blends in with your neck color too. So you guys, I recently ran out of Makeup Forever's Under Eye Concealer and decided to try the Smashbox High Definition Concealer and I think I may have found a new favorite. I just apply a pea-sized amount to the back of my hand to help warm it up and apply it with my ring finger underneath the eyes, around the nose, on the bridge of the nose, and underneath the brow bone. The reason why I love this concealer is because you need so little product and it gives amazing coverage and stays on all day long. It also has more yellow tones to it which definitely matches my skin tone more. So yeah, I think this is definitely my new go-to concealer. You know the drill. Always apply powder over foundation and concealer to help it stay in place. You don't want your makeup to melt off after all that work, especially on New Year's Eve. One of the things I got this Christmas was a new Bare Minerals eyeshadow and blush palette and let me just say the colors are amazing and great for this makeup look. Now let's find those cheekbones. I'm going to apply a little bronzer underneath the cheekbones and then a light pink color to the apples of my cheeks for that fresh and young glow. Time for the eyes! I'm going to do just one eye so that you guys can see the difference afterwards. First, always apply a base color to help even out the skin tone. Then I'm going to put on this light pink shimmer on the crease, making sure to blend, blend, and blend. And to add some dimension, I'm going to apply this medium brown shade to the outer corners of my eyes, as well as on the upper and lower lash line. I've been loving this technique recently with my eyes because it gives my eyes a softer look and it also helps make them look so much bigger. And to finish it off, I love using a dark shade just in the outer corners to give it that dramatic effect. So another new thing I've been using recently is the Maybelline Gel Liner. I bought this because I somehow lost my MAC Gel Liner and of course it reappeared as soon as I started using it. But you know what, I'm so glad I did because I actually think I like the Maybelline one better. It goes on so smooth and it comes with the Gel Liner brush which is awesome. And you guys know I love my winged eyes so let's wig it out and add a little bit of that on the bottom lash line. Let's prepare for lashes. I always curl my lashes with my handy Shu Emira eyelash curler and apply a coat of mascara. Now the other day I bought this CoverGirl bombshell mascara because I saw Katy Perry on it and it actually is a really good mascara. But one thing I always wondered is why the tubes are so freaking big nowadays. It like takes up a lot of room in my makeup bag but in any case I still really like it and no clumping is happening. So yay! Let's get these puppies on. I'm using the 120 Demi Natural Lashes from Ardell and they're one of my favorites. I actually went to Nordstrom Rack and bought a few pairs of these. They were like $3 so I just had to. Anyways, I always say the glue you use on your lashes can make or break them. The one I'm using here is by Lash Lab and it's one of the best because once you're ready to take off your eyelashes, the glue literally peels off the band so there is no mess. And this is definitely one of my favorites. And now before and after. Oh, I forgot my eyebrow. Here I'm going to use my eyebrow gel from Bobbi Brown in Sepia Ink 2 and fill in my brows. And remember a while ago I talked about my eyebrow scar? Now some of you wanted to know what happened, so here's the scoop. I was a toddler and back in the day our family used metal bed frames and I accidentally fell and hit my head on one of them. And apparently blood was gushing everywhere and my parents freaked out and I had to get 5 stitches. I'm just glad I have my eyeball. And the scar isn't so bad. It makes for a good story. We're almost finished. Now for that classic New Year's Eve lip. Recently, I've been loving this Makeup Forever lipstick in rouge. It's very classic and perfect for a party. I think I've always worn red every New Year's Eve party. It just screams sass and class. 
Red is a tricky color to put on, so just take your time and make clean lines around the mouth. I also wanted to give some dimension to my lips, and fuchsia is one of my favorite colors to help make my lips look plump. Here I'm using Maybelline's 5th Ave Fuchsia in 160. It's such a pretty color and really brings life to my lips. And here's the finished makeup look. I'm gonna let my hair down, and now I'm gonna show you guys my New Year's Eve outfit. Let's start with the earrings. These are the biggest earrings I own, so I thought they would go nicely with my simple red dress from Marciano. It also has an open back, which is elegant and chic. Now for shoes, I'm pairing it with my black pumps from David Dutura. Okay, so maybe red is one of my favorite colors, but in Chinese culture, red is actually a lucky color and symbolizes good fortune and joy. Now remember, a new year is coming and the possibilities are endless. I'm wishing you all the best in health, success, love, and in life for 2015. I love you guys, thank you so much for watching, and be sure to subscribe, like, and comment below if you like this video. Have a safe and happy new year, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye!